hear ye! This poor witch has been possessed by evil. She has committed heresy against our pure society. She has humiliated the crown, and most importantly, she has humiliated our corporate machine. Please observe the evidence. By proclamation of the gatekeepers of art and culture, we are today executing this witch and so saving our town from corrupt and evil ideas related to value, skill, and craftsmanship. Do you have any last words? Yes. Please, sir! I went to the Suji Hodges Tana Price lecture on the 8th of October. She introduced herself by an advertiser and marketer from Saatchi. The BBC broadcasted the event and the audience was filled with young artists. Suzy, or in other words, Tana Price was spreading lies and propaganda about art and the art world and tried to lead us astray. Listen, artist, I'm an artist from Glasgow School of Art. All the media is paying attention to the mass media culture and the medias are encouraging us to become a commodity to them and not an artist. Tana Price is the young artist to create without soul and thoughts. To become a part of factory owner and making symbolic art, which is only to trick the people and confuse them about the value. So they start to talk with the sale price of Tracy Evans' best art piece. She tried to convince us the artists are normal people who don't put as deep meaning into their art pieces as odious things. The BBC broadcast host wanted to know the vocabulary of art is so complicated and why we don't simplify the explanation. These are the reasons. Human thought and mind are more complex than words can describe. We try our best to communicate with everyone beyond words with other means and communication tools. And Susie wants us to simplify our complexity into words. Then why bother making the image or the piece? Perhaps we should just offer baby food. She said artists are really arrogant. The artists shouldn't be critical of society, other people, the art world, or other artists. Her last slide at her show was Damien Hurst's spinning painting and told us about the importance of the brand. I wonder if those assistants of Damien Hurst or Bruce Norman or Jeff Koons are happy to beg assistants where they are not artists themselves. Are they happy that their greatest idea are used to promote the big brand under another person's name? Is this what we aspire to be a part of now? I think artists are supposed to offer another voice, not nearly for the fucking mass propaganda media. We're not stupid. We're thinking, we're making, we're hoping, we're saying, and we're developing. Is the ton of price the same as Brian Scott talent? I worry people will be happy to rely on a panel of professionals to say what is art and what is not in a pop culture competition. I worry for young talented musicians, their dream has become to get into a talent show. The corporate machine
Thank you. Thank you. I talk to my friend.